we had overwhelming support. As a family, we did not realize how many people Lee's life touched. And so it's to this end that I'm sitting here today with a great team where we would like to make a difference. This is not about Lee, it's about all the Lees that are out there. It's about those people that don't have a voice and haven't been able to get to where I am sitting here today to talk about their grief and to talk about their frustration. It really, really is time that government sat back and those people in charge looked at what's happening and made, they took some decisive steps to rectify things. The talk show can't keep on going. The talk show can't keep on going. When Woodley was sentenced, he got a life sentence. And I must be honest, my family and I thought, well, now that's great news. We've now I've got somebody that's taken off the street. And in the old South Africa, there was a thing called the death penalty. And we don't subscribe to the death penalty. I think there are too many problems around that area. But what we do believe is that if somebody gets life, they have to be, it has to be a responsible sentence. And that sentence has to be carried out. There can't be loopholes found along the way to achieve the KRAs of correctional services. And Luke spoke about that. I feel so strongly about it. This is not a KRA for correctional services. This is KRA for us as citizens of the country. We expect you to look after us. Not too worried about looking after the criminals. They put themselves there. We did not put you there. We are trying to live, and 99% of us are solid citizens of the country. We are trying to live a life that is responsible, crime-free, and something that we can add to and contribute to building the country. It is unacceptable that that small minority can enter through a system that allows them back on the streets.